Hey everyone, Soul Review. Um, so this is courtesy of Stephen. Uh, this is Thomas Hooker's. Um, they're out of they're out of Connecticut. I've had a few of their stuff. Um, a few of their stuff. A few of their things. Um, I can't think of the actual uh, name of the beers. This label looks familiar, so this may be the double version of what I've had, but I've had a few others. Um, this is 8.5%, they're out of Connecticut. This beer is a tropical fruit juice aroma with a bit more punch, is what is this character. Watch out for a mean right hook, citra hops, or mosaic, 8.5%. Beer was canned on 12.9, I think, and it is January 20-something, so a little over a month old. Uh, Mike's doing dry January. No, he's not, not doing dry January. He started after January, but he's taking like a... Uh, 28 days or a month off from uh, doing beer, so I'm saving the ones from Steven that we know we'll keep, and I'll try to get through some of the IPAs uh, solo. Uh, that's an awesome looking head. It looks like you're going to spoon it uh, with a spoon. Spoon it with a spoon. Oh man, I am full of the words today. Um, Ooh, some hot particulates uh, in the floating around in the glass. It's a darker, darker you. Um, it looks really pretty though. It's yeah, you can't see through it at all. Uh, if I put it up to the light, yeah, it's got this really nice. You can definitely see all the all the hot particulates. Let's get a nose. Ooh, interesting. The very first sniff, I got lager vibes. But second, you get tropical fruit. Um, this really nice um, cereal green. The malt really, really showing in this. Mosaic, a little bit of breadiness. Sometimes I get that, like I, I get that from mosaic too. But yeah, this smells. Yeah, I love the crackery malt in there. I, the malt. You don't usually get a lot of that from from double IPA, especially like New England style double IPA. You usually just use a mm, juice in your face. Well, not juice in your face. Tropical fruit in your face. Just, just that crazy nose, but. It's a lovely level of malt. Diving in. Cheers. Thanks, Stephen. It came out right out of the fridge, and it's pretty cold. Tell you what, if I had this blind, I would say this is a treehouse beer. Yeah, this beer has that the 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 yeast profile, bubble gummy malt. Bubble gummy malt, bubble gummy yeast. Take my first beer of the week and don't count on alcoholic beers. Um, yeah, okay. Let's pause. So, right up front, you get that bubble gummy yeast, tropical fruit from the citra. And this lovely little level of bitterness kind of right, it hits sort of. Almost as it finishes off in the back palate, but sort of mid palate, back palate, right in the middle of the middle and back, the middle middle back, um, and then it bitters, bit bitters off nicely. This is fantastic. Um, it's got just that lovely level of bitterness, but the front is just all like bubble gummy tropical fruit. This is fantastic. Um, what else does it say on this can? This beefed up tough guy is the brother of no filter and you don't want to mess with him, or do you? By grabbing this can, we assume you're up to the challenge. Watch out for a mean right hook of citra hops or mosaic uppercut. Either way, cracking this brew will make you the victor and the victor goes the spoil. Into the victor goes the spoils. Yeah, this is fantastic. Double dry hop, double IPA. Um, yeah, down in the comments, if you had uh, Thomas Hooker's no fil double no filter, they're 8.5% uh, New England double IPA coming in at eight and a half percent like i just said with citrus mosaic hops what do you think of it what do you think of thomas hooker in general the stuff that i've had ha has been really good i don't really remember if i loved it if, if if i just thought it was good but this if this is anything this is fantastic neurosense.net instagram facebook twitter if those are things like comment subscribe to those notification bells you're notified when we post new videos thank you steven i'm sean this is nerd sense Cheers.